in this second service. So we have 26 all together, but we have 14 today, right now, in second you. service. Praise the Lord. Two minutes. Good morning, church. My name is Onyema. I'm here to testify of God's goodness and mercies in my life. Yesterday was my first uh, Canada Day as a Canadian citizen. Amen. I took my oath of citizenship uh, a few weeks ago, and I'm thankful for the privilege of being Canadian. This particular testimony is special because I'm someone who had lived in Southeast Asia, and I have experienced different forms of discrimination because of um, my citizenship at birth, and I don't take this opportunity for granted, and I'm forever thankful to God for giving me a clear path towards achieving this. I also want to thank God for examination success. Last year, I embarked on a training program in a technical field for the purpose of career transition. It was a challenging process because I had zero knowledge or experience in this field, but God raised helpers for me throughout the journey who went out of their way to ensure I succeeded. During the week of the final exams in April, I received news from home that totally shattered my world, and I was going to postpone the exams, but I remembered the word of knowledge during um, the June Jesus is Lord service from 2022, where pastor declared that God said to go ahead and start a new career. I held on to that word and sat for the exams. It was very tough because of my state of mind, but God came through for me. Um, where is this thing? <laughs> God came through for me, and I passed, and I give him all the glory. Uh, lastly, I also want to thank God for increase and promotion in my finances. During the first Sunday service in January of 2022, uh, it was just my second time in NC, and Pastor gave a, a number that he was going to sow into the 2022 Open Heavens um, for 2022, and he encouraged us to do the same. It was only my second time in NCA, but I made a vow telling God, um, since Pastor had given a number, I'll sow a certain percentage of that number because I'm still upcoming. And um, if God gives me increase, at that time, the figure I, I vowed was almost 100% of my take-home salary, and it was scary to sow. But being in this house, hearing the word daily, waiting on God through prayers and fasting, as well as hearing the testimonies of others, removed that fear, and I was able to fulfill that vow. To cut a long story short, I received two promotions last year Amen. with more than a 50% pay raise and also increase in benefits that I didn't even know existed in that organization. Last month, I also received an additional 20% increase in pay. And then to top that, buying a house in Canada had always seemed unattainable for me because I didn't have enough funds for down payment. But God, through his infinite wisdom and orchestration, also provided sufficient funds for down payment. Amen. And I know that very soon I will come back to testify that I bought my own house in Calgary. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I was going to do obey God. God will continue to bless us and increase us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. My name is Shruti. I am here to testify of God's miracles, grace, love, faithfulness, favor, and abundance in my life and in my household. I have received my degree and I was placed on the dean's list. After my academic, thank you. After my academic achievement, I applied for a specific certification with the province, but God denied. And I was given the reason that I will need to complete further studies to be even considered for minimum provincial certification level. I spoke with the provincial officer and I was informed that I am ineligible and do not meet requirements and it was a closed file. Another degree would be costly and time consuming for me. When the provincial and licensed officials said no and provided their reasons, I did not request for another review, investigation or appeal. I continued in Friday church prayers, fasting, midnight row prayers, morning 5 a.m. prayers and in my service to God followed pastor's instructions. Every time I came to church, God continued to speak and be God in many ways. After a few weeks, all of a sudden, I received an email from the provincial government confirming that the highest level of certification was issued to me. <laughs> Praise God. Followed by a copy of my new certificate and the number, congratulations and approval letter. Amen. This is a miracle that only God can perform. Not only that, but God has brought me multiple job offers, Amen. opportunities, and outstanding favor before man. Amen. All glory, honor, power, praise, and victory belongs to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Following instructions and doing what God is telling you to do is the best way. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. My name is Elo Odibu, and I've come to testify of what the Lord has done in my family. 
The Lord has been so faithful to my family, and I have come to return all the glory. Firstly, I want to thank God for what he did for my sister who lives in Toronto. Uh, during, the, um, during the May uh, three days fasting and prayer, she was in Calgary. And that Sunday, Pastor asked for us to dress prophetically and act prophetically. She had been waiting for her work permits that she applied for. She applied in December last year, but IRCC had not gotten back to her in months. So she did according to the word, and she took a prophetic action. And glory to God, during the month of June, she had her work permit approved. <laughs> Secondly, I want to thank God for what he did in the, my elder sister's life. She lives in Nigeria, but she flew all the way to the UK in the month of May because she wanted to apply for jobs there. So her family and her can relocate. She had been applying for these jobs and they all turned her down. During the previous three days fasting and um, prayer period that just passed, my family and I here in Cal Calgary prayed over the matter and held onto the word of God. We knew that our God would come through and that there, were, there would be a testimony. So she had an interview this uh, week that just passed on Thursday, and she called us the next day that she got the job. Amen. Lastly, I want to thank God for how faithful he has been, even in my friend group, my, uh, my sister's friend's group also. And I want to thank God for the approval of my brother's study permit this week. And I thank God that he, there was no delay at all. And I also want to thank God for uh, this week, my, my father's birthday is coming up, and I thank God for adding another year into his life. Amen. Thank you, Hallelujah Jesus. Hallelujah for all those beautiful testimonies. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm Femi Oloede, and I want to thank God for his mercy, um, goodness, and faithfulness. At the beginning of this year, I started searching for a new opportunity in my career. I was getting calls, but no positive result. I thought maybe my acting salary was too high, that I was tempted to reduce it. But one day, I was reminded that God can give me whatever I ask him. I actually increased my acting salary. For the first stage of the interview, I wore the shirt pastor had us to add had prayed on when we, he asked us to dress as we wanted, right? That was the um, midnight prayer prayers that he asked us, and he asked us to take picture and send to him that he would pray on it. Um, so I did that. I wore that shirt for the first stage of the interview, and also for the second stage, I wore the same shirt because the first stage was um, a phone interview. And for the third stage, I put the shirt on and that shirt I wanted to wear, and I wore that for... <laughs> <laughs> the next day for the third stage of the interview. So I did that, and by the help and the faithfulness of God, I got the job. Amen. The job, this job and the organization is way better than the previous ones I had interviewed with, and awesome benefit. As per my salary expectation, I was all, given almost what I increased it to. I also want to thank God for the opportunity to serve in his house. This helped me in my interview as I was able to give examples of things I do at church which align with what the organization stands for. I, I also want to appreciate the career team and I also want to appreciate my lovely wife for her advice and support. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Our God will continue to give, give us new opportunities in Jesus' name. Amen. Morning, everyone. My name is Philip. I'm here to testify to the goodness of God. Two minutes. Yes. Um, oftentimes when people give testimonies about passing exams, I'm always like, yeah, what's the big deal, right? Until it was my turn to write an exam, and then I was like, yeah, this makes sense. The last time I wrote an open, a closed book exam was in May 2015, and I failed it before joining NCA. I want to state that. And ever since, I just told myself, I have everything I need, I don't need to. I've always written a lot of open book exams and I passed, but this time it was a very tough one. And this particular exam, I've always just postponed it because I'm like, I want to be ready. But in, in March, I kind of told myself, I'm just going to do it irrespective of what happens, right? If I pass, I pass. And if I fail, I was like, yeah, I'll just rewrite it. But to the glory of God, the Holy Spirit was like, go for it. In May, I don't know if you guys remember, pastor was like, somebody at the back, you need to see me. He singled me out and all that. And he prayed and I just got that courage that just write it. And I went to the Holy Spirit and he gave me a three-day strategy. And then on the exam day, lo and behold, I couldn't even finish the exam. And I thought I was going to fail. And then just this last week's row of prayers, I believe it was on Monday, while pastor was praying on something, something just led me to say, check for the results. And lo and behold, I pass. I just want to give glory to God. 
and really just thank him. I still don't know what I wrote down. I don't know how, but I just know it's behind me now. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Glory to Jesus. For those trusting God for exams, you will pass your exams in Jesus' name. Good morning, church. My name is Omolola. I just want to thank God for God's faithfulness, for keeping us in business for 10 years. I want to give God the glory. God has been faithful. Um, there's, a, there's supposed to be a, like a 10-year anniversary party, but this is the party. I want to give God the glory for keeping us for 10 years in business. Radiance Beauty is 10. Amen. I want to give him the glory. Amen. You know, this was a business that was supposed to pack up the first year because it was really challenging. We were, I was going to back out. We were going to be like, I was going to sell the business, but nobody was buying. It didn't look like it. But we want to give God the glory that God kept the business and we are here celebrating, getting better and better by the years. Amen. I want to thank God. COVID in, COVID out, God kept us. Cancer in, cancer out, God kept us. Amen. I want to give him all the praise. And secondly, I want to give God the glory for, te- uh, for favor. There's this mentor of mine, she's always testifying of favor that sounds like a lie. When she tells you, you're like, no, it's not possible. And I always say, God, give me favor. I want to thank God. There's this plumber that has been working for us for like two years now, like we're going to two years, that the first time he worked for us, he, he did something that was worth like $1,000. And we were asking for, where is the bill? He won't give us. Where is the bill? He won't give us. So after a while, we called him again for something else. And every time we call this plumber, he, he, he answers us like God was instructing him. He runs to the destination. All he says is that, where is the location? He goes there, does the work. When he comes back, where is the money? I mean, where is the bill? He doesn't give up. Up to tomorrow. I, don't, I mean, up to today. I don't know of tomorrow. He has done it not once, about seven times. He, he will work for us. Where is the bill? He won't pay us. So I want to thank God for favor that God has given. To God be all the glory. Amen. I pray that God will continue to send us angelic assistance and help in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. My name is Lyde, and I want to testify to the glory of God. <laughs> well, um, since I came to Canada, um, I've been believing God for a change in career, and I'm not there yet, but God did something remarkable for me in the month of May. So the last week um, before the three-day fast towards the end of May, I had a dream, and I saw um, a former ED of mine, MD, um, treasurer, CEO's wife, all in the same dream. And, you know, they were making, they were talking, or one person was talking specifically, but she said something. She said, it's not about what you do, it's about who you know. And that was the end of the dream. Fast forward to the three-day um, fast. Pastor had said on the Friday um, that if the name Clement means anything to you, come out. So I came out. Clement happened to be one of the hiring managers that hired me at my current place of work. So I came out and pastor prayed. When he was praying for me, he was praying for favor. He just said praying for, you know, um, favor in my career, favor in my job and all those things. I was leaving. He called me back and prayed the same prayer again. Then um, the week where we were doing the midnight prayers, pastor had said, I think on a Tuesday, I believe, into Wednesday, he said, um, there's someone here, you're going to go for lunch. They're going to invite you for lunch. Be professional. So twice, a week, twice in the week, I go to work, and that thing just stuck. On a Thursday, I, I think Wednesday, during my lunch, it was just towards the end of lunch, they called an impromptu meeting in, in my place of work. Everyone was to attend. I almost missed the meeting because I was running late. At the meeting, they told us that they laid people off. And, you know, people that had come to work with us that morning, my colleagues, they were laid off. I just want to thank God for preserving my job. Amen. I want to thank him for being mindful of Amen. my... Of my Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God, continue to instruct us and guide us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Yes. You bet. <laughs> my name is Evelyn White. I just want to thank God for preservation. So my older son um, experienced earthquake in Romania. It was so bad that um, bricks fell from the chimney onto my grandson's uh, bed. It was really bad. But I'm thankful. I thank God because I'm standing here today and this mama bear is not crying at all. 
I'm grateful to God because God preserved my family. He preserved all of them. Nothing. They came out on scratch. Nothing happened to them. So I'm thankful to God because he said he will give his angels charge over you. They will keep you up in their hands lest you dash your foot against a stone. Well, we did not dash our foot against a stone. We are here and I just want to bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God for that mighty deliverance. He will give his angels charge of our us. Amen. Hello, everybody. My name is Osase, and I have two testimonies within two minutes. Uh, so the first one, I would just like to thank God for taking me through a very stressful semester and just bringing helpers of destiny all along the way. Um, my second testimony, in May, May 1st, 2022, I gave a testimony about going through a bone marrow transplant to cure my sickle cell disease. So I just want to give God all the glory because the recovery process has been very smooth. And I'm currently <laughs> one year and 10 months post-transplant and I have never experienced any pain crisis, Amen. and I'm living the life. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. But I'm living the life I prayed for and the life that God has destined for me. So whatever you believe in God for, just keep trusting Him and pray without season. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Our God is the perfecter of His healing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, church. My name is Bidemi. Um, today, I'm thankful for my mind, for a sound mind. Um, in 2020, when COVID struck, um, it calmed everything down at the time in Lagos for me, the hustle and bustle, and I decided that I was going to, you know, really go deeper with God. Um, from then, I really don't know what happened. Well, I have an idea now. Um, I went from having deeper connections with God to actually having agnostic thoughts to having depression, anxiety, um, yeah. And that went on even to when I came into Calgary and continued. Um, I would come to church, I was doing everything normal, but I knew that my soul was in a dark place. I had meetings with Pastor about it. I spoke to Pastor ID about it, Pastor Taiwa. I would also like to use this opportunity to thank them. Um, deliverance was done, but I didn't feel like it was complete. And I would have short moments of happiness. And then they, I had moments when I was just on the road, break down and start crying. And the enemy was filling my mind with lies, reminding me of things I had done in the past. Um, this, I wanted to give this testimony in November last year. Just around the time, a lot of things started happening again that took me into another space. So when we came into the, this year, I decided and I told God, this Jesus is Lord service will be the last time that this lies will fill my mind. I took it seriously, the dominion praise, everything. God reminded me of how proud he was of me. I'm sorry. What's going on? Um, yeah. I want to thank God because today God delivered me completely. I knew I didn't want to manage the thoughts. I wanted to be delivered. So I'm thanking God for being my mind regulator Amen. and for being my deliverer. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank God for his sound mind. We thank God for his presence in our lives. We give God all the praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, my name is Bemini, and um, I want to thank God for God's healing over my brother. Um, during the, one of those three nights, um, normally we thank God and we praise, and I had all my prayer points, and all of a sudden, the Spirit of God told me that I need to start praying for my brother, who is sickle cell, and, um, and I didn't know why. I, felt, I spoke to him a day before, and he was pretty healthy, and he was sound, he was good, and, but the burden kept coming in. And I looked at my prayer points. They were really important too. So the Holy Spirit now said, who would you choose, your brother or this prayer point? And so I closed my book and I started interceding for him and I started praying for him. So I used all that night to pray for him. And the next day I was like, okay, let me just check up on him. And... Um, I didn't speak to him, I was speaking to the doctor. He was in the hospital. Um, he had a major crisis, and he was going through blood transfusion. And, and that's when I broke down, and I was like, God, I thank God I, I listened. You know, sometimes we come with our prayer points, 
and we come with what, what, you know, what, what we want, but something different happens. And I thank God I listened to him, and within three to four days, he had left the hospital. He's doing well. He's doing, he's doing very, very well. Amen. And lastly, I want to thank God for, you know, there's something called 11th hour miracle, but this is my 12th hour miracle. Pastor said in the last um, midnight prayer that um, you're going to get your miracle before the end of the month. It looked so impossible. And, but on the last day of June, I just got a call, you know, you know, I want to come. I've been looking for, to do towards an internship towards my legal program. And I just got a call that, okay, um, I want to see you today. I'm like, okay. So I thought I was going to be grilled. I thought everything was going to happen. You know, I got my resume and I got there and I sat down there and he said, when do you want to start? I looked Amen. at him and I was like, Hallelujah. and I just want to thank God for that miracle. I just want to give God the glory Amen. in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. God will to give us good health. Give us wisdom to intercede and favor, favor all around in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Our God is good. Hallelujah. He's forever good. He's really good. I just, there are so many things to thank God for. There are so many miracles. But uh, these particular ones I want to share with the church. Uh, if sometimes we, 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 if we don't get tired of a situation, it might not change, the change might not come just quickly like that. Yeah, I was amazed when my change came just after five days of praying seriously. I, I, had, a, I had a left leg ulcer that lasted for 12 years, but so many do not know because in the midst of that pain and discomfort, I go to church, I praise, I worship, and do all sorts of things. Thank God why? Because I felt maybe I was seeing it as part of life. It has stayed too long. So I, I, I got used to going to dress the wound, then put on your shoes and go to church. I got used to it. Yeah. But a few months ago, so many, things, so many things happened that prompted this kind of new energy. My daughter fell sick, and then she had been sick for over for, she was sick for about two, three months. Two transfusion we had done on her, blood product transfusion. And uh, the first one, they did it, and it came back again. Her body was puffy, you know. She began as if she's swelling up like that. I was scared. And in the midst of that, I had an exam I was preparing for. I was preparing for an exam, thinking of my daughter nursing my pain trying to also go to church, all these things around. Then it got to a point I realized that it looks like this pain has to go so that I will do something with my family. Amen. Amen. So I, 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 I was like, 12 years is too much, and I have to do something about it. So I decided to look for cancer, and I went to visit pastor. I booked an appointment with pastor. He saw me and gave me what I would consider a medication. It was a kind of prayer and scriptural reference medication. I did that first within five days. Started following me and my wife. Morning prayers, evening prayers, rap prayers, constantly this time around. And a night came and God visited. He visited just like that. I thought I was with my doctor checking my leg. But he just came, Courage, how are you? I said, I'm fine. Have you prayed for the leg today? The truth is that I couldn't reply, but he just took away the bandage Amen. and he left. Amen. That was all. And now my daughter, the swelling has stopped. Amen. The edema has stopped. Amen. The dermatitis has stopped. Amen. I just want to say glory be to Hallelujah. the most I God. Hallelujah. Amen. We have to take God seriously and be tired of the problem. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. My name, is, yeah, my name is Barry. Mm -hmm. I've come to return thanks to God because I told God um, in everything I have that covenant, I'll give him thanks. So I thank God I uh, God provided. I want to use this opportunity to thank the pastorate, to thank the choir and friends and family that supported during my mom's funeral. And I give God praise for the strength that he gave to us to bear the burden Amen. and heal our broken hearted. 
our broken hearts. Secondly, I want to thank God. Um, last year, I was just spot checked. Doctors just picked me up and said, come and do uh, mammo. So I'm like, I went back to my family doctor. I'm like, who ordered this test? Because I'm not that kind of patient that sees and doctors will be, I will talk back. So I'm, I, I now said, okay, who ordered? She, she raised her two hands and said she didn't order it. So I still went. I'm like, okay, it's for my good. So I went. And there was a new radiologist, and she just wanted to do a lot of experiments. So after the UT, she decided to like, she came in, she like, she wants to do a biopsy. So I looked at her, I'm like, I will not be your patient. I didn't say it to her, but my eyes were speaking to her. So I decided, I'm like, okay, I raised the prayer a lot. I'm like, okay. So at the end of the day, she did the biopsy to her disappointment. She was like, I hope you don't give me that stare anymore because I'm like, I won't see you again. And I decided to like, okay, I'll go to the surgeon and let them take out this thing so they don't bother me again. And when I met the surgeon, the surgeon said, <laughs> pastor kept saying it's only a lump. I kept claiming that even though I knew the pathology result was like no low risk, at the end of the day, the surgeon told me, avoid people like me to my face. Don't come to this clinic again. And I literally got up and did my feet like this. And I walked out of that clinic. I didn't look back. I didn't even know somebody saw me around the vicinity, FMC. And lastly, I want to thank God because when anything that I said, just keep saying amen. That's just the bottom line. Lastly, I want to thank God for a miraculous job offer. Sorry, just one second. God did something miraculous out of 500 applicants. I was called for an interview. It was a government job I've been believing God for. And in their words, they said, we are so close, don't give up hope because we want you to join our team. Amen. This was an email from one of them. She kept following me up every week because my security clearance was taking forever because of the strike and everything. I just signed my offer letter on Wednesday yeah. and I give God the praise because it's been my number one prayer point. And pastor was like, that prayer point, the last Jesus is lost service, that one must be striked out and it's struck out now. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let's rise up and give God all the praise for deliverance, for protection, for sealing our testimony to the blood of Jesus, that of the truth we will continue to testify. The Lord will keep us in perfect health. The Lord will continue to provide. He will protect. He will fill our mouths with laughter and our songs, our hearts with singing. The Lord will do great and awesome things for us and we will be exceedingly glad. Let's thank God for soundness of mind, that God, our minds will be sound. No depression, no sadness in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for every testimony today. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks.